Okay, I'm going to tack this in place with this medium CA by putting some glue back here towards the back, run it back to the back of the table so the rudder doesn't hit, and then just rock this straight back like that. Use a little scrap, smooth out the excess. Could use some kicker on here, but I'm just going to hold it. Okay, I'm just going to put a drop of CA of this medium Bob Smith right up here. Let it kind of drip down and squeeze that into place. Do the same thing on this one. I cut the two pieces and I got them backwards in the process of filling this, but it's all right. Squeeze them together. Now your bulkheads will be glued in. We'll go ahead and use the thin CA on all the joints once we get everything tacked together. Okay, uh, the next step is to install the wing spars. The wing spars have a square angle. You want that square angle to be on top. The bottom is the acute angle. It will be setting the dihedral for it. The way I like to do it make sure everything gets into place is take my spray glue and this happens to be 78 I just ran out of 77 so <laughs> um, so if it's not foam friendly I mean this will eat the foam if you apply it directly but if you spray it onto something else like a piece of cardboard something rigid you can let a bunch of the solvent evaporate out of it first and it will be fine it will not eat the foam all up spar placement right along the back edge this gives you a little bit of time to make sure you get the thing positioned. CA is a little too quick to make sure it's all straight. Now this is all the way in tight. When we get done, we can hit it with a thin CA and it will wick right in there and make it a nice solid bond. So there's our spar placement on our flat table. And we'll do the same with the other side. Okay, next thing is to set this front angle that sets the Phillips entry on the airplane. The leaf cuts are made. You can see those joints are made. I just take my medium CA, put a drop on each one of these, let it run downhill. Put it on my flat table. Make sure everything's aligned right and tip it forward like that. Hit it with some kicker. Okay, well it never hurts to have a little bit of tape in the front end. It's the business end of it anyway. So, But I put so this mo Scotch Magic Tape some of this on there right on those seams and stick those into place. Reinforces that area and that's good. I can split the tape. Fold it in. It's nice, good and strong. There we go. Okay, now that we have the, the Phillips entry on the bottom sheet set at the crease with the fuselage former up here, everything's all ready to go. The spars are glued in place. We still have a gap right here which sets the dihedral. So we put a drop, medium CA. Let it drip down into there. Kick it over sideways. Take my scrap. I got a little excess here. And we're going to kick it. There's the dihedral angle set. We'll do it the same on the other side. Thank you. 
press there we go The next step is to get the two pieces of the top sheets tacked together to install them. Um, once they're folded, there's going to be a gap on the top about the same width as a number 11 blade. So I'm just going to use that as a gap and I'm going to tack it together. Perfect. Just tack those together for now with a couple pieces of scotch tape. Gap is set. Just a longer piece of scotch tape. Try not to stick it to itself. <laughs> I like this magic tape. It's flat, so it doesn't really stand out against the the Depron finish, and it sticks really good, and it's very thin and light. So now we have a foldable hinged top skin for wings which will drop down in place. What we're going to do is we're going to attach the back one first and then the front. Okay, the next step in attaching the top sheets is to hinge the ailerons, elevons, in the place. I just use three pieces of this tape. It's ace cloth carpet tape. It's just cloth saturated with glue. It's really good stuff. One at each end, one in the middle. Good to go. Do that on both sides. Okay, we're going to attach just the aft section of the top skin first. So with our elevons hinge taped in place, peel the backing off of the tape. Run our medium CA along the wing root. You can go back. This stuff doesn't dry as quick as the thin. Gives you a little more time in case you get something crooked. And we will be able to wick the thin CA into it after we're all done. Crucial to get along the wing tip, right behind the spar tape, or the hinge tape, right in a straight line. And that's all we need to do. Right there, we've test fitted it, made sure it all fit. Get it all the way up against the fuse. Right down the hinge line. Lock the hinge line in place. Everything else should fall into place there. Along the tip. And we're leaving this loose right now. We're not putting any glue in the front section yet. While we're at it, medium CA, and pop this Elevon into position like that. Yes. 